Yesterday, um, Derek was asked what he eats before a fight and gave a pretty interesting answer. Just wondering what you eat before a fight. How long have I been up here? 12 minutes. No, how long have I been up in this spot? A long time. Do you expect me to say something like Derek said yesterday? Of course not. <laughs> I mean, let's, let's be honest. But, um, uh, breakfast, uh, you know, eggs and, and stuff, but I usually eat a sandwich right around 4 or 5 o'clock and I let myself get really hungry to uh, go to the arena. I feel like I compete better on an empty stomach and I truly do believe that as, as humans, when you are, are starving and you're hungry and you're abstained from sex and all the, it, it, it builds something inside of you that uh, makes you want to go and, and uh, pursue and, and get those things. And I think to get through the next man that's blocking me from essentially going to my life, that's essentially me going to get food and enjoy myself and just really having a great time, I will blast through that person to get to that moment. And I do that because of that. What do you make of his uh, deal with Popeye's chicken? I hate that. That sucks so bad that Popeye did that. I mean, I've, uh, I've done this for years, but the reality is it is what it is. Look, this goes back to what I told you. I've been here for a long time. I've, I've sat at main events and co-main events and you know, headlining people for a long time. The guys that I fight, they get their moment, right? We've seen a lot of them come. A lot of them have gained sponsorship opportunities. A lot of them have made more money than they've ever made in their careers when they fight you. But the reality of the situation is it, uh, fame is fleeting and they get their moments. But after Saturday night, he kind of goes back to being the guy that he is. He's the guy that makes money in their videos. And uh, then we'll see if Popeyes is uh, still so supportive. Because it's if Derek Lewis wins on Saturday, he will. You know, that won't happen. You, you touched on saying that you feel content in your retirement. Do you think that could change as uh, I, I, I think because I've come to terms with the idea so much that I would be okay. I, I don't feel like, um, I would say I'm going to want to compete. That's what I've done my whole life. You know? But you got to remember, this is a lifetime of high level competition for me. I started traveling internationally at 15 years old and wrestling the best in the country and in the world at 15. So at some point, you have to stop. Right? I just thought that 25 years of high level competition would be enough.